Hi everyone, welcome to the monthly teaching video. The, these videos are made possible by your support through patreon.com slash welfarepearls. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and as long as there is that support, these, epi these videos will continue to be made. This is part of Woolen Spinning and my name is Rachel. I can be found pretty much everywhere as Well for Pearls. We've been working our way through all of the different drafting techniques that are sort of universal when it comes to working on a spinning wheel. And this month we're gonna look at spinning from the fold. This is one of my least favorite uh, drafts and it's one of the ones that I have struggled with the most to get it consistent and get it um, to the point where I'm happy to demonstrate it and to teach it. What I do for um, spinning from the fold is I take my combed top and this is some 5050 merino silk um, that's part of Fiber Club this month from Sweet Georgie Yarns. I break off some. I don't worry about whether or not it's an actual staple length as you can see there's another piece here. I just lay it all together and fold it over my finger. Now. In my experience, what has happened with spinning over the fold is that this isn't held tightly enough and all of it comes forward. So when I'm teaching my students, I do tell them to hold it quite tightly. We're gonna be spinning off the tip, which for a fiber like this isn't actually the best technique. Um, for a fiber like this, you want to, and see how I joined it there. I just um, took all of that twist and I let it into the front of the fiber. Um, a, fi a fiber like this that has so much sheen from the 50% silk, it really works well to have those fibers remain smooth so that they can remain shiny. And spinning it this way off your the tip of your finger tends to create um, a slightly fuzzier yarn and not quite as shiny but this is a great technique for spinning a blend like this where you have a 50-50 content and one inevitably is always gonna take over. Now you see how my the top of my finger, everything's kind of starting to lift off a little bit. So I break it and I realign everything, holding it quite tight. I tease some of those fibers off the front of my finger again. And get some twist going and pull. And you're creating this sort of cobweb off of the front of your finger. And if you feel like that you're sort of getting ahead of in your drafting not very many fibers and you feel like it's getting too thin, just let some of the twist build up and it'll capture some more of those fibers and you can make your yarn a little bit thicker if it's getting too thin and too cobwebby. I find this way of spinning is quite labor intensive because you're literally spinning each staple as you work your way down the four ounce braid. I find it takes a really super long time and it's a very controlled way of spinning. Um, it takes a lot of practice on your part to keep yourself consistent. One of the things to think about with this particular draft is to keep your drafting length from the tip of your finger out towards the orifice of your wheel consistent. So if you'll notice, I'm keeping that distance quite short and that's to compensate for the yak content in this fiber. And as you get to the end, you sort of have to work your way, sort of muddle your way through that, that last little bit. Now you see how this has sort of all fallen apart? I found when I was first learning, I found that really frustrating and I sort of felt like I always ended up with this jumble of fibers. But actually what you can do is just realign them by drafting them out and laying them on top of one another and then folding them back over top. And then you're off to the races again. Now to do a join, when spinning over the fold, let's say this broke. This, you've already got your cobweb over the tip of your finger there. And you just lay those fuzzy bits into the little bit of singles that you have left. And you keep on going. 
I make it look really easy because I've had lots of practice, but actually that was one of the first times uh, when I was learning that I could successfully do a join when I was first learning and afraid of joins and was sort of finding them very frustrating. I normally don't work this close to the orifice of my wheel, but I do want to keep everything in, um, visible for you guys. So today I'm sort of working a bit more closely. See how it's gotten all jumbled again? Now the key to this particular draft is keeping your finger, the, the tip of your finger pointing towards the orifice of your wheel. As long as the tip of your finger is pointing towards the orifice of your wheel, you will actually have like quite good results. You might end up with a bit of a jumbled mess back here in that in that fiber supply hand that's holding the fiber over the fold. But as long as that finger is sort of pointing towards your wheel, it's a fairly good draft to spin lace weight and light fingering weight yarn. So if you're having trouble spinning a a thinner gauge yarn try spinning over the fold if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out I can be found at Rachel at wellfordpearls.com on Instagram and Ravelry as Welford Pearls and I'm always um, good at sort of responding to notes and messages and questions so please don't hesitate to ask and there's always the ask anything thread in the Ravelry group which is wool in spinning I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye everyone.